varicella zoster, a name from a sci-fi film? No, the medical term for chickenpox. 90% of young adults have had it. Fortunately, there's now a chickenpox vaccine, which has greatly reduced the number of cases of severe chickenpox in this country. The first day that it uh, came out um, and was, was available, I lined my three children up <laughs> and had them vaccinated because I live in a world where I see all the complications of chickenpox. According to Dr. Abramson, those complications may include pneumonia, encephalitis, or inflammation of the brain and serious skin infection. Also, anyone who's had chickenpox may later get shingles, an acute viral infection that usually results in a rash. And in children, if it comes out, it's usually not painful, but in older people, especially older than uh, 55, it, it tends to be very painful. Unfortunately, only seven out of 10 children in the U.S. are currently getting vaccinated against chickenpox, which means three out of 10 may be entering adulthood unprotected. Knowing this risk, Amy Silverstein had her twins, Hannah and Rachel, vaccinated at 12 months old. I had the chickenpox when I was a child and I was fine, but children do get very sick and die and it's very uncomfortable and I don't want my children to go through that. I don't want them to have chicken pox on their eyes and their tongue and just at very uncomfortable places. The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends chicken pox vaccination for any healthy child over 12 months of age who hasn't already had the disease. But older children and adults can be vaccinated as well. The vaccine is about 90% effective in preventing chickenpox from occurring, and in the remaining 10% of cases, when the disease does occur, it's usually much less severe. The normal number of skin lesions in someone who hasn't been vaccinated is over 500. The normal number of skin lesions in someone who actually develops disease who has is less than 50. So even if you get it, it's much milder. That was the case for Rachel and Hannah, who developed chickenpox shortly after receiving the vaccine. Hannah had a mild, very low-grade fever. Rachel, I don't even think, had one. Um, they, they were actually very fine. I just, you know, I tried not to take them out to too many places because they were contagious to children who had not received the vaccine, and adults as well. Amy was right to keep the girls at home because children with the illness can easily pass it to someone else by touching or by releasing it into the air when they sneeze, cough, or even breathe. Child with chicken pox is actually contagious for one to two days before they break out in the skin rash. And that, that creates all sorts of problems for us. But then they're contagious until they uh, are scabbed over. And once all their lesions are scabbed over, they're no longer contagious. And that's usually seven, within seven days of uh, the onset of the rash. It seems to me when I look back upon it, a very short period. And I would still do it again. I do not regret my decision to vaccinate the girls. You can see they're very happy, healthy, well-adjusted children who I know are not going to get a very serious case of chicken pox.